Welcome. In this breakdown, you'll learn how to solve this SAT math problem and others like it. So grab a pencil, paper, and let's figure out this problem together. For the function g defined above, a is a constant and g4 equals 8. What is the value of g negative 4? Now that we've read the problem, let's make a note of the key information they presented. First up, that equation, gx equals ax squared plus 24. Whenever you see an equation, you definitely want to write it down. We're probably going to have to use it to solve the problem. Next, they tell us that a is a constant. All that means is that a is just a number. And lastly, g4 equals 8. Huh. Let's figure out what we need to do with all this information. First things first, what does g negative 4 even mean? By itself, nothing actually. A statement like this is usually connected to an equation, since the number in the parentheses is what we would replace x with. In this problem, the equation that g negative 4 is connected to is gx equals ax squared plus 24. So g negative 4 actually means a negative 4 squared plus 24. Therefore, the goal with this kind of problem is to end up with g negative 4 equaling a number. However, we're missing a key piece of information, and that's a. Since we're missing some key information, let's circle back to the problem to see if there's anything that can help us out. And there it is. They told us that g4 equals 8. This means that when we plug in 4 into the equation, the result is 8. So let's plug in 4 and figure out what a has to be so that it equals 8. So if we plug in 4, we'll have 8 equals a 4 squared plus 24. So let's go ahead and square the 4. That's going to give us 16. So now we have a times 16 plus 24 equals 8. 16 times a can't do anything. So let's go ahead and subtract the 24 from both sides. That's going to leave us with negative 16 equals 16a. Let's divide by 16 and a equals negative 1. Awesome. So we have a. Let's plug it in to where we left off earlier. So now we're going to replace a with negative 1 and combine them all. So we have g negative 4 equals negative 1 times negative 4 squared plus 24. Let's start off by squaring negative 4. That's going to give us 16. From there, we're going to multiply the negative 1 to give us negative 16 plus 24. Now, this looks a little confusing, so let's figure this out by putting 24 over negative 16 and combining them the old school way. From there, we get 8, so g negative 4 equals 8. And that's it. Great job putting the work in. Now that you know how to solve today's problem, try your new skills on this one. I've left the answer in the description below. Like this video to let me know that it helped you out and keep prepping for your SAT with the rest of my breakdowns. Later.